Hello all my truth seekers. Welcome to Keisha's Gossip and Truths. In this video, I will be talking about the life and death of Chelsea Christ, who mysteriously committed suicide. You know, I'm starting to think some of these suicides are staged. I mean, didn't Regina King's son commit suicide? And the death of Bob Saget, Betty White, and Sidney Portier are still mysteries. I think something dark and sinister is going on. Just saying. Now, you all know I like to give a brief intro before I go in deep, so here we go. Dance. D -d Dance. This is a trigger warning. In this video, I may be talking about or showing sensitive material about some subjects or topics that may be disturbing or upsetting or may bring forth some troubling memories, as you read in the description or title. With that said, either in the video now or brace yourself. Aside from that, enjoy. Chelsea Kareen Chris was born on April 28, 1991 in Jackson, Michigan to a Polish-American father and a black mother. She has four other brothers and her mother had once been crowned Mrs. North Carolina, U.S. when she was a child. After graduating from high school, Chris moved to Columbia, South Carolina to attend Honors College at the University of South Carolina. She graduated cum laude from Darla Moore School of Business with a degree in marketing and human resource management in 2013. She was also a member of the Alpha Lambda Delta Honor Society, Gamecocks, Women's Track and Field Team, and Mock Trial. I'm reading this via Wikipedia, by the way. After finishing her undergraduate degree, Chris enrolled in Wake Forest University School of Law in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, graduating with a Juris Doctor and Master of Business Administration in 2017. After her graduation, Chris became licensed to practice law in North Carolina and South Carolina and began working as an attorney at the Poner Sprill LLP practicing complex civil litigation. She also worked pro bono for clients who were low level drug offenders and with Brittany K. Barnett of the Buried Alive Project to free a client sentenced to life imprisonment. She was the founder of the fashion blog White Collar Glam dedicated to helping women dress professionally in white collar jobs. Yes, the girl was bad. Mm -hmm all before she was 30. As a teenager, Chris began a career in pageantry, in pageantry, winning many competitions in South Carolina in 2017. She decided to compete in the Miss Carolina US. Hey, she almost won. She was the fourth runner up, but she was determined to win. So she kept trying, but the following year in 2018, she was only placed in the top 10 until she finally won in 2019. A lot of young ladies were pissed as Miss North Carolina USA, Chris was given the right to represent the North Carolina at the Miss USA in 2019 competition, held at the Grand Syria Resort in Reno, held it in a resort in Reno in Nevada. She went on to win the competition and became the third woman from North Carolina to win the title. After, after the competition, she became a New York correspondent for Extra. She was the one who broke the news of Terrence Howard's announcement of retiring after the ending of the TV series Empire. She also received an Emmy nomination for her work at Extra and so on and so forth with her many career endeavors. Let's get deep. Miss USA Chelsea Chris allegedly leaped to her death from a midtown high-rise luxury 60-story Orion building at 350 West 42nd Street around 7 around 7:15 a.m. and was found dead in the street below Sunday. Shortly before she jumped, Chris posted on her Instagram page, "May this day bring you rest and peace." Before then, she posted a picture after she worked out. She showed no signs of wanting to kill herself. People who knew her said she was a bright, light, 
you know, her grandfather struggled on Monday, this is last week Monday, to figure out why his granddaughter, whom he called a light that shines so brightly, would kill herself. He also said, and I quote, to be extinguished so fast is just devastating. So hard to imagine one minute they're here and one minute they're not. And you know that the only way you'll ever see them again is when you pass away. She was such a fantastic person, Gary Simpkins told the Daily News by phone from South Carolina. People said she was kind, she was generous, she felt for other people, she tried to help other people. She was just one of those rare people that had a heart for people. Upon her allegedly dying and listening carefully, she coincidentally and suspiciously left behind a note indicating she wanted to leave her possessions, everything, to her mother, but providing no reason why she committed suicide in the first place, police said. In March 2021, essay in Allure magazine, Chris provided a window into what might have been a cry for help, whereas she said, and I quote, each time I say I'm turning 30, I cringe a little. Sometimes I can successfully mask this uncomfortable response with excitement. Other times my enthusiasm feels hollow, like bad acting. Society has never been kind to those growing old, especially women. Occasional exceptions are made for some of the rich and a few of the famous. A greening, crinkly eyed glance at my achievements thus far makes me giddy about laying the groundwork for more but turning 30 feels like a cold reminder that i'm running out of time to matter in society's eyes and it's infuriating however people who knew her said at the same time she seemed to embrace getting older especially when she wrote at the end of her work this is what she wrote at the end of her essay now i now enter 30 searching for joy and purpose on my own terms and that feels like my own sweet victory that doesn't sound like suicide to me so it seems to me that all she wanted was to make sure she made a difference and did as much as she could before turning 30. because during those years most women like her start to settle down and have some kids now i don't know if she was dating anyone but something tells me to research more i mean I need to research something, especially her mother. I mean, the once former pageant winner who inherited everything coincidentally and suspiciously. To be continued. Well, that's it. Let me know what you all think below. On that note, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Hit that bell to so get notifications when I do post my videos. Love you all. See you all later. Bye.